Hello, I'm Chuck Toronto, and this is an introduction to the RCC 1081, which stands for Refrigeration Case Controller. And the video will focus mostly on the usage of the RUI, which is the Remote User Interface or Display Module for the 1081. The first thing I want to point out is that both devices might need an address. The RCC 1081 itself can have the address set in two ways. It's a BACnet device, so this would be the MAC address that you're setting. The preferred method is to set the address switches. Alternatively, you can put all of the DIP switches in the off position, and then you can set the address via the display module. All of the instructions of everything that I'm going to cover are available on Novar.com. Today, the main manual that's going to be used is the one that describes the usage of the display module. The display module also needs an address set in some circumstances. If the version of the display is 2 or greater, you'll need to set an address. If it's less than 2, you will not need to set an address. So how do you determine the version of the display module? There are two ways. This is the box that it comes in. There's a sticker on the box, uh, and on it, this one is printed V1.0. So this one would not need an address set. If you don't have the box, the display module itself has a sticker on the back, and here you can see again it's version 1. The RCC controller has six different control modes built in. One of those control modes, mode 4, is for a DX circuit controller where there's a EEPR valve driven with a stepper motor, and the circuit would have multiple cases. In this circumstance, the RCC can drive up to five different displays, one for each case on the lineup. And each display would show only the temperatures for that case. That's why the address is necessary for mode four, is so that the RCC can uniquely identify each controller. So now we'll move to a live display, and I'll show you how to set the address.